fellas. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm bringing you Idaho, the Vandals out of the Big Sky Conference. What can they do in 2019? Obviously, they're starting with number 15, Penn State. Good luck, boys. Before we get into the schedule, I just wanted to check out what did Kirk think was going to happen in this game? Number 15, Penn State, Idaho. Obviously, Kirk is rocking with Penn State. A, A plus, A minus to C minus, D plus, C minus. Wow, good luck, boys. For the rest of the schedule, let's check it out. We got Penn State and then a ton of FCS teams and just not great teams overall. You know, actually... Out of the big sky, Idaho plays almost exclusively FCS level teams. So I tried to make this schedule as representative as possible. Threw in Wyoming, Eastern Michigan, Ball State, Akron, New Mexico State, and Western Kentucky along with all of the possible FCS teams. So this schedule is pretty representative, but I don't expect Idaho to win a lot of games. So let's check it out. What does 2019 hold for Idaho? All right, let's check out this class. Idaho whiffs on the top three prospects, going after Ryan Hicks, an 82 overall kicker, a 79 cornerback, and a 68 right tackle. They do land Randy Conley, a 65 overall receiver. Not a bad pickup for Idaho. Of course, we have to go with Jeff Vinson and Stan Thornburg. Good luck on ever seeing the field, 47 overall. Kind of something you expect to see for Idaho. Let's get into the season. They do get a school record this year and three consecutive wins. They even had an NCAA player of the week and a 14-point comeback, but does not look promising for Idaho. Here's the results of the season. They lose to Penn State. They lose to an FCS team and Wyoming. They beat an FCS team in Eastern Michigan, lose badly to Ball State, beat a couple FCS teams and Akron in New Mexico State, lose in overtime to Western Kentucky, and end the season with another W. That's not a great season, Idaho. Let's check out the Heisman watch just for fun. We've got Perry from Navy, Swift from Georgia, Moss from Utah, P. Ryan from Florida. That's going to be a pretty kick-ass Heisman ceremony right there. Let's check out what happened in the top 25. A unanimous number one, Wisconsin. 61 votes for Wisconsin to be number one. Washington, Auburn, Texas A&M, and Notre Dame close out the top five. Clemson, Georgia, LSU, and Alabama all in the top five. And surprisingly, Miami. 10-2 Miami. Did Mark Rick lose control or what? Closing out the top 25, we do see SMU, Memphis, Duke. Boise State makes it in there. Very cool. 10-2. You love to see it. Let's check out the BCS. Wisconsin is tied with Washington and Auburn at 99-5. And then you got Notre Dame and Texas A&M on the outside looking in. But Wisconsin and Auburn, both games the last week. Washington, no game. So let's check out what happens. Heisman, Perry from Navy wins it. 2,115 yards on the ground. 21 touchdowns. 17 receptions for almost 200 rece reception yards. Pretty good year from Perry. Moss, Swift, P. Ryan, and Dylan, congrats on being invited to the ceremony. It wasn't a runaway victory, but Perry does take away 1,700 points overall, 1,700 votes. Wisconsin is number one. They win the national championship. They go into the national championship break number two, actually. They win 35-21 to 21 over number six, Auburn. You got Washington, Notre Dame, Clemson, and LSU to close out the top five of the year. Let's check out... What happened in that national championship? Because Idaho, of course, did not land a bowl game at 7-5. and five. Scrolling down, let's see here. We got Wisconsin 35, Auburn 21. So tied after the first quarter, Wisconsin's up 21-14 to 14 at halftime. Auburn comes back and ties the game, and Wisconsin scores 14 unanswered points in the fourth quarter to win a national championship. First one in a while, if I'm correct. Let's check out what happened total offense 417 yards for wisconsin 332 for auburn 224 on the ground and two touchdowns for wisconsin only 161 for auburn almost 200 yards for wisconsin through the air 171 for auburn through the air of course we check over turnovers 
One fumble for Wisconsin, but it doesn't slow them down. Wisconsin kills the time of possession. Of course, time of possession, big metric for who's winning the game and who's really driving the ball and imposing their will on someone else. Interestingly, this just caught my eye. Memphis 38, Oklahoma 17. That's a killer score for Memphis. Very surprising Oklahoma loses to that caliber of team. Season stats, Limley only good for 1,000 yards. Holy crap. I hope there was an injury or something. That's really bad. Big pin, almost 800 yards on the ground. Pretty good, actually, compared to the 1,000 uh, yards through the air. Luckett, 532 yards through the air receiving. Actually not bad, considering how small of a sample size that was. Econo, 47 tackles. Good for six in the country. That's a really good person right there. Griffin, 2.5 sacks. Hightower, four interceptions, 52 in the country. And, of course, our NCAA kicking leader, We've got Kroninger, good from 46, 77th best in the country. That's going to be it for me. I appreciate you for sticking around this long. Hope you like the content. Please like, comment, subscribe. Peace. <laughs>